Hello YouTube, my name's Nero and welcome back to some more Borderlands. Today we're going to be starting up what many people consider to be the greatest DLC in the history of Borderlands, the Secret Armory of General Knox. I did some research on this DLC itself and apparently it's actually the largest DLC, at least for Borderlands 1 and from what I've heard from a lot of people, it is probably the best DLC out of all of them. And it's actually the third one, we're trying to do all these DLCs in the order in which they release. So of course we did the Zombie Island of Dr. Ned and then we did one episode of the Mad Moxie's Underdome. The thing about the Underdome is it's just a horde-based survival thing where basically you just end up surviving waves and whatnot. And I asked you guys in the comments of that video, how would you like me to do this? Would you like me to go through and, you know, survive all of this? And some of you guys actually liked the Mad Moxie survival. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the Secret Armory of General Knox DLC. And at the same time, we're going to continue to go back and do uh, playthroughs of the different areas that you can do in the Mad Moxie DLC. We'll just kind of do them at the same time because there's really no story to see in the Mad Moxie DLC. It just survived the different waves and different areas and stuff. So we'll do that occasionally while continuing on to this DLC and doing the story. Then the fourth DLC is going to involve Claptrap, but we're going to cross that bridge when we get to it right now. Let's head on over. Where is it? It's going to be all the way down here. T-Bone Junction is where we need to fast travel to start off the General Knox DLC. So let's check this out. I'm excited to see what this is going to be about. I don't know too much about it. I do know that uh, it's probably going to have a cutscene, though. Hopefully there's a cutscene that will just give us an idea of what's going on. Pandora, a planet that once knew only peace and prosperity under the fair and noble direction of the Atlas Corporation. But there were those that sought to disrupt our perfect existence. Thieves and murderers, perverts and scoundrels. The lawless garbage unleashed an unspeakable evil upon Pandora, not known since the Age of the Gods. But together, we shall not despair. Atlas has not forgotten you. We are returning and will restore order and security to your planet when we arrive. Bullshit. I have choked on the disingenuous lies forged by their corporate greed my entire life. And it is a meal I will no longer stomach. Atlas is here for two things, power and revenge. And the order they do it in is irrelevant. We share a common enemy, you and I. The reward for your death is second only to mine. That alone should be reason for you to join my cause. But if it is not, and your greed precedes you, then you will gain access to all of their weapons. Their invasion stockpile will be yours. Athena out. We wow. must speak immediately, but I'm afraid for my own security, and therefore you must jump through a hoop or two. Talk to the mechanic. He knows where to find me. And a word of caution. Don't touch him if you ever want to eat with your hands again. Oh, all right. So Scooter here. So we have a mission already. Let's do the score down here so we make sure we see the entire quest. So it's going to be Scooter, but I don't even know her. All right. So a mysterious ally has contacted you and is looking for your help. There is a price on your head and you'll need to deal with Atlas to get rid of it. The informant, Athena has told you to find Scooter in T-Bone Junction. He knows where to find her. Interesting. So Athena, we see in Borderlands, the pre-sequel, as, of course, a playable character and also played a role towards the end of it, which kind of sets up this, the stage for Borderlands 3. And then the Athena is also a recurring character now in Borderlands, or Tales from the Borderlands, which is set after the events of Borderlands 2. Huh. That's very interesting. So this is where Athena started. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that, how it's tying into stuff. So when I first saw Athena, I'm like, oh, is that just like a new character or something, huh? But no, for people that played through this DLC, Athena was a big part of it. That's pretty interesting. So, Pandora, Travel and Customs Administration, Fast Travel Network Center and Relay Hub, and Customs and Immigration Authority. Here's this guy. Hey, you see my gun. 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 <laughs> All right, is this look? Oh no! Wow, this is looking for Lilla. So for conspiracy, witchcraft, theft, and murders. So that's a little. I like they don't show her face. They should get a nice cleavage shot. I think this is me. Is that? Nope, nope. That's Mordecai. So uh, for poaching and possession of endangered species. That's Bloodwing. Huh? Where am I? Where am I? Oh, there's Brick. All right, for murder and dismemberment of anything that moves. 
<laughs> wow, that's a pretty big reward. Where am I? Ah, here I am. Wait, here's all four of us together, and here I am playing as Roland, of course. The des or the desertion and murder of Crimson Lance officer. Huh. Roland killed a Crimson Lance. Oh, he, he left the Crimson Lance, who means Roland worked for Atlas, as well as he killed an officer? Huh. I mean, I killed plenty of officers, technically. But, uh, <laughs> what's well, outside here? The scooters. This place looks, uh, it reminds me a lot, anyway, of the uh, Mr. Torque DLC from Borderlands 2. Just like the setting that we seem to be in. Just like uh, all this road and pavement and uh, trucks and construction and things like that. I mean, Scooter's Garage is right there. I could go look at that. But part of me is like, What's over here? You know? Like this guy. Hey, He's chilling. Hey, you see my gun? Hey, you see my gun? I uh, no. Oh wow. Why is he here? Why is he here? I can't access that yet. Why is he here? Does that mean every like five seconds he's gonna be yelling at me? Hey, there's a new side mission. I like this man. This place is neat. Lots of cool places to explore. I'm I'm, I'm sure we're gonna see more of it. Uh, as we do missions and whatnot, so let's actually go. There's a there's a vault symbol right there, and there's a secret like back stairway right here. I mean, I want to check this back stairway. Maybe I'm supposed to go this way, but I want to check this out. Oh, so this takes us on top of scooters. What in the world is this thing? I'm sure it's going to involve something with a quest, and that's probably going to take us back down. Okay, well, I'm sure the quest is going to take us up here anyway. So let's just jump down scooters here and go inside. Oh, there's a door even. Meatballs didn't think I'd ever see your dumb ass again. Surely open the vault. Hey, that steel chick take her clothes off yet? If not, I'm gonna need details though. Hey, act all casual like when I say this. I'm a speaking code, so I hope you have the mental capacity to follow. Your lady friend told me to send you to Moxie's place when you stop by. Huh, if you know what I'm saying. Hey, you ain't getting nowhere that Go to Moxie's? And maybe, girl. I've been cooking up something new, but I ain't finished the booster system yet. Need a bit of secret sauce if you're willing to lend a hand. Alright, alright. We got we got missions apparently. So sounds like this Athena is hiding out in Moxie's place, whoever that is. We know who Moxie is from the last DLC. We don't know who Athena is, technically yet, I guess. So, boost the monster. So we're going to need to do this to be able to get a new kind of vehicle, I would assume. So Scooter has informed you that you won't be able to reach Moxie's unless you have a vehicle. Scooter has been working on a new set of wheels, but needs you to grab the last few parts needed to finish the boost system. Search T-Bone Junction for the needed parts. We're going to need a supercharger, a nitrous tank, and an exhaust pipe. There are new missions available on the T-Bone Junction bounty board. I, I told you it's going to start. It's going to... Oh, is this going to be my new... This going to be my new whip? My new ride? I like it. 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 So let's uh, go. Sorry. Oh wait, I see a light right there. Is this where I came out of? What? What? What, what is this? Yeah. Yeah. This is where I came out of. Let's check the vending machine. I doubt there be anything in here. No. You're gonna be too rich, too good looking, or too well armed. I like all the cars here and stuff. All the little paint jobs they got going on there. It's very nice. Well, I guess I can actually just look at the map here, and that'll probably take me towards whatever objective it is I'm going towards. Need is an X372 supercharger, but not the 373. There's recall on that thing, and my kind of people burning live and shit. Also, a big old tank of nitrous and one of them fancy exhaust booger things. I don't even know what it does, man. <laughs> so make sure not to get the other kind because it's like set, burning people alive, apparently. T Bone Junction. I like it. I like this place a lot. I'm just not entirely. Oh, goodness. Uh, positive. Am I supposed to be up here? I didn't even mean. I, I I promise I didn't mean to get up here. Um. <laughs> well, apparently, the thing I'm looking for. Whoop! There she is. <laughs> so there is our. Uh, that's the 372 supercharger. Because remember, not uh, thankfully, it's not the X373. That's what I was about to say too. Oh, Jesus, titty, cinnamon, that is a monster. That's gonna be sweet. Scooter, I feel like you're getting too into this, buddy. This is a little bit too into us. Let's jump down here. We will protect you as long as our, whenever our schedule permits it. 
<laughs> That's hilarious. All right, um, where am I heading to? I'm just going to start checking the map. All right, so I'm heading... Wow, this map's kind of confusing. Oh, wow, look at all this. This is definitely a confusing layout. Well, I'm assuming I'm going to be heading back this uh, direction, this way. I, I don't know how to like navigate over here because I accidentally came this way. I just like jumped over on top of a bunch of stuff. Well, maybe I go this way. Nope, apparently it's going to be over here. I have no idea. Once again, never done any of these DLCs before. But I'm assuming it's going to be up in this area, right? What was that? You guys heard that too, right? Four Whoa! Um, Lance Assassin! Oh, these guys, oh, these guys are low levels. Wow, they're only level 35. I don't think the scaling is working very well. Are, are you supposed to be scary? Who, why, 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 why are you running around so quick? Come back here. I think that's supposed to be a boss. A Senshu order has been issued for you. There will be five teams assembled to guarantee the objective is successful. That was the first. The Omegas are relentless and highly trained. The elites, elite. The only advantage you have is that their top operative recently left their employ. Stay alert. Athena out. I'm going to say Athena is actually that top operative, I would assume anyway. But yeah, it kind of stinks at her level uh, 35. I'm level 41 now, and I thought the DLC would scale a little bit better, but apparently it hasn't. And apparently this is Marcus's place. And I want Now, I wonder if I were to go into playthrough 2, if that would actually scale a bit better or not. Hiya. Oh, I can't even talk to him yet. Jeez, I keep finding all these things I will keep... Oh, this has lights on. It means it's going to be legendary, right? Nope. I like this. This is a cool little gun shop right here. Welcome to hell. Welcome to hell. Welcome to hell. Welcome to hell. I like this little area. This is pretty cool. Where in the world is that? Do you hit? Is it gonna be up on the roof? Oh no! Wow, I walked right past. Wow, it looks like a, just looks like a bomb more than anything. But uh, oh, that's gonna be our nitrous oxide tank. Oh, okay, I can see that. I can see that. Well, shoot! Looks like the passenger seat's gonna have to go bye bye to fit that bad boy in there. I'll get to work on that right now. Well, all right. I mean, I've been doing this playthrough solo since the beginning, so I guess we don't really need a passenger seat, do we? <laughs> I think we're all right. I think we'll be okay. Now, where is this third one hiding? That's the question. Where is the third one? Oh, all the way over yonder, huh? So I'm actually going to run jump, and I'm going to actually go across this thing. One, one would assume if I land all the way down there, I would die. But right now, I'm just going to run over here, right underneath the T-Bone Junction sign. Oh, wow. They even they like, expected you to like run around on here because they actually made it so you have ammo right there. That's pretty cool. Now, it would it be on top of this roof? I don't... Maybe it's over this way? There's, there's like an elevator thing here. Maybe it's up there. Oh, wait. There's like stairs and stuff right there. I want, oh, I bet you I need to go up. Yeah, I bet you I need to go up there. Okay. This place is very, very, very confusing in terms of its layout. Oh, my goodness. I ran all the way all that way for nothing. Pro... <laughs> They keep making jokes about Promethea in the Borderlands series. Apparently that's like the worst planet of all. But yeah, you're it's, you're the 13th most important planet in this system. Don't worry, at least you're not in Promethea. Yeah, I've heard, there was, um, what was that legendary gun in Borderlands 2 that would like yell at you and it was so annoying and it's like, there's children on Promethea that can't afford ammo, you know? And it's like, I don't even want this gun. It's so annoying. Wow, there would be an advertisement for Mo Moxie's Underdome here. And the world's largest bullet, you won't believe your eyes. Astounding, stupefying. <laughs> this place is cool, I like the jokes. Wait, what is this? Dr. Zed, so not Dr. Ned. This is his roadside jumpstart infirmary. No license, but where else you gonna go? <laughs> you always, you see, at least he always lets you know he's got no license. Yeah, Dr. Oh, Ned! Or Zed. I'm sorry, I'm gonna confuse that up so much now. Ever since these Lance guys showed up, we can't get through the sanctuary. Ah, oh, sanctuary. But you'll never actually now show a sanctuary. Mouse, 
They probably actually never show Sanctuary in Borderlands 1. It's really cool, though, that they're always referencing Sanctuary, and then in Borderlands 2, you actually get to see Sanctuary, and of course, it's like the main city, so that's kind of a neat thing. Yeah, 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 I know what I need to know. So the final thing is apparently right here-ish. Am I stupid and just walking right over it? Oh, yep, there it is. It's actually, we're taking the tailpipe off of this thing? Um... Oh, there. I was going to say, it's not giving me the ability to pick it up. So, the exhaust whatchamadoohickey for Scooter's new vehicle. I can always tell you the resourceful type. Bring them on back and we'll get you rolling. We'll get you rolling. Alright, we'll get me rolling. Actually, can I take this? Oh, this thing actually works, huh? I guess I could have taken this. <laughs> it's actually convenient they put this elevator here, because otherwise you have to go all the way around and such, and that would just be annoying. Well, actually, I want to open up this stuff right here. Yes, indeed. Open, open, open. Grab all the monies and loots and jump on down. His door's right. Hey, yeah. One of them crimson bucket sluts did a number on my hand trying to get information on your secret lady friend. Now, I didn't tell him nothing, but I can't install anything right now. Uh, give me a hand getting the stuff in. Uh, do I, yeah, I'm assuming I turn it. Well, sometimes you go in there and you put parts in yourself. I think we have to do that after we do this. So, you found all the parts of, of the scooter's new car. Sounds like he wants help installing them now. Grease Monkey. All right. Uh, the Crimson Lance has injured Scooter's hand, so he's unable to install the new parts on the vehicle. He has asked you to help by installing them. Rock on. This reminds me of the mission in Borderlands 2 where you're helping out uh, Hello, Ellie. Marcos here. I've got an opportunity for you. Come see me at my place in T-Bone Junction. Yes, sir. Hey, Will do. Wait. Ain't she a monster? Just got a hack the specs into the Digistruck module, so my uh -huh, uh -huh. catch a ride can build these bad boys for you. Hit that <laughs> switch over there. I already hit the switch, Scooter. Oh, here we go. All right, we've got some stuff going on. Oh, wait, that's scanning it into it would show up in the catch a ride system, huh? Oh, look at that! That's really cool! Hey, so that's how that works. Yes, sir! Well, let's turn this in first. So, looks like you got yourself a sweet new ride! I guess that's the, all the quest text there. Alright. I love, like, the 1930s, like, hello, everybody, that kind of voice that they're doing, but, uh, you've got Moxie Roadblock, so, clear the Crimson, Ran or the Crimson Lance uh, Roadblock, can't even talk today. So, now you've got some wheels, head out to Moxie's and find an informant who can help uh, with help you deal with Atlas. The Crimson Lance has set up checkpoints along the highway to control the travel in the region, you need to open the road in order to be able to reach Moxie and find Athena. But, we also need to go talk to Marcus, who's up yonder. Hmm. Well, actually, we can get to Marcus. I guess the fastest way to Marcus would actually just be running up this way. I want to see what he's got to say before we uh, head on out of here and start continuing on like the main story. I have a feeling this Marcus thing is going to be a side mission, but I still want to see what's going on with it regardless. So, we'll try it. And there's the butt sign! That butt sign is everywhere, and I don't know why. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why. Is this an advertisement for Scooter? It is. <laughs> it's what's under the hood. For rent, Mad Scientist Laboratory. That's uh, the General Lee Hospital, actually, from the last DLC. That's pretty cool. I like how there's references to all the other DLCs in here. Look right here, Jacob's Cove. That's pretty cool. Visit Historic Jacob's Cove. It took more than, If it took more than one shot, you weren't using a Jacob's. I like, I like the throwbacks to the other DLCs in here. That's pretty cool. Let's go see what Marcus has to say about all this, though. See what Marcus is doing. Because he's Marcus, you know? We like Marcus. He's a good guy. Sometimes. How can I, help you? I don't know. Uh, you've got, apparently, side missions and stuff to do here, so I figured I would help. So, collect Lance Energy Cores for Marcus. Hello! With all the Crimson Lance in the area, there's a great opportunity for us. Their armor has special energy cores inside them, a top-secret piece of Atlas technology. Torque, Malawan, Hyperion, I'm always on the lookout for them. If you bring some to me, there is a lot of dough in it for you. Wow! There's a lot of these, so... We grab all of those, and I assume we can actually get most of these while clearing out the things for the other mission. Right? Right? I think we can. So, check out missions. Uh, core collection is TK. Okay. The Crimson Tallway. Wanted Dead. 
Oh, I have to survive all these squads. Okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna be heading that away, it would appear. Maybe I grab one of them cars and we go and kill stuff, then we grab all their loots. I'm hoping all that ends up working. Look at this rocket that came down out of nowhere trying to kill me like they could do something. Like they could do something. I guess I can't jump over that, can I? Gosh darn it. Well, maybe I'll go this way. What is that? Rubber tires. Rubbers, new and used tires. Oh, for the guy's name's Rubbers. How you doing? Uh, can I help you? Uh, can I help you? I like how they all say like one thing. They all have one piece of dialogue. <laughs> they all end up saying anything else. So where, where could I go? I... <laughs> I'm just gonna go forward. I'm like, well, apparently I could have grabbed the car all the way back there, but instead I'm gonna run this way. There's a sign for doll right here. I only get paid if I survive, doll, and I like getting paid. <laughs> That's good. But apparently there's going to be a scooters thing right up here, and then the checkpoint thing I need to actually go through is even further up hey, ahead Scooter than that. Here. Just a heads up that those Crimson D-Bags set up some roadblocks on the highway. Just get your murder on and we'll pretend nobody saw nothing. <laughs> just get your murder on and we'll pretend... Oh wow, why don't we just use that thing? Jeez. That thing looks pretty powerful. Ray appears actually going to be scooters. There she is. And then Crimson Tollway, four kilometers. So this is what the highway looks like in Borderlands, huh? I kind of like it. Monster. I love how it's called the monster. Let's make it red because we always seem to have a red vehicle. Look at this thing. I can't even zoom out any further than this, but this thing's mean. Oh, we've got we got nitrous in here even. Oh, this thing is just mean sounding. Alright, so the Crimson Tollway. The monster's homing missiles need to be within range. This thing has homing missiles? I am very confused. Oh. Oh, hiya. Well, alright then. Oh my goodness, Cop Cap, shush. I like how I used to say it like seductively. Hello, traveler. What in the world is this thing? I I I I, I want to see what this is. I don't know what it is. Oh, that's gonna be a car spawner thing. I guess they put that there in case like your car got destroyed by those first two little thingies that really did nothing to me at all. Well, mainly because I'm also a little bit over leveled for this, but whatevs. Uh, all right. So we're just gonna go. Oh, let's go. Got hit jumps and stuff. Dead end in five kilometers. Uh oh. Got the crimson lance. Thirteen experience for me. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh, there's turrets. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Gotta get the turret. Gotta get the turret. Can't hit him from that angle. We good? Well, let's hop out of the vehicle here for a little bit and see if those guys dropped anything for me for the Marcus mission. I don't think they did, though. I mean, there's ammo and there's some money. And this is where I can get another car. I don't think these Atlas guys are dropping me anything yet. I mean, maybe that's the kind of mission that I need to do periodically throughout the campaign or something. Oh, look at my field of view. Let's fix that. Ah, oh, I forgot about... Th it's been a while since I actually had to use a vehicle. We didn't use vehicles at all in the other DLC, the Dr. Ned one, so... I forgot that when I get out of the vehicle, I need to make sure I change my FV every time. Let's continue on forward. Am I, am I even going the right way? Yep, roadblock apparently is up this way. And my car's shield's coming back, so that's a good thing. I think it's neat that this DLC is involving the Atlas Corporation. Did I just do a bunch of damage by hitting it? I'm doing a- look at that! I'm doing a bunch of damage just by bumping into the thing. I am so good at this game. Alright, so we actually have some Crimson Lance guys here. Boy, that gun is loud. <laughs> can I just run you guys over? I can. Ooh. How you guys doing? Eh? How you doing? How's everyone doing today? Wait a minute, that might have been one of the things that we actually need. Let me hop out of here real quick. Yeah, that is. That's a shot core. We need a hundred of these? Jeez. It seems... 
maybe this will be the kind of thing that we end up getting uh, periodically throughout the campaign. I mean, maybe it also gives me a temporary buff. I don't know. But boy, this field of view is making me feel weird. So I'm just going to hop out of here. Maybe I'm supposed to... Am I supposed to kill off things? Am I supposed to bump into these? What am I supposed to do? Ow. Bumping into stuff here. Oh! <laughs> Well, <laughs> so there's my objective up there. I didn't think the thing would kill me. I think I thought it'd just be like a wall. Well, we got our first death out of the way, I suppose. Even though I think that this is going to be about the only time I actually die in this DLC because I'm a little bit over leveled. What I'm actually going to do before we do the second episode of this DLC is I'm going to load it up on playthrough two, and we're going to see what the level scaling is like on that. And if it's different, then I'll just play through that, and we'll see. Um, but for this first episode, of course, we're going to be doing it like this, and maybe we'll skip ahead to the, this area in the second playthrough if it scales a little bit better. Where in the world do I go? Maybe these stairs here? I don't know. I don't know. What in the world? I'm, so, I'm supposed to get up there. That much is given, right? I understand that much. Uh, maybe, okay, right here. I'm supposed to take these stairs, apparently. Let me go up this way, then. We'll see. Yeah, that seems to be working a little bit better. Where is my objective? It's even higher up. Oh, hiya! Badass infantry. Too bad, you're only level 36, I'm level 41. But then again, most of my gear isn't that good, so who knows. Oh, all right, geez. Let me grab some of your, your cores. Oh, what, what are you doing up there? What is this, advanced warfare? Sitting here with your jetpacks? <laughs> I hear another one. Oh, there he is. But you would drop the core all the way down there. All the way down there. Well, I have a feeling I'll be able to get a lot more of them. Hi, buddy. Eh, eh, grab all of these. Oh, goodness gracious, I can't go in there either. You guys aren't... Whoa, look at that dead thing. See, this is just going to my theory that I think Pandora was once underwater. It always makes too much sense. How you doing? How are you still alive? Where's your buddy? Where are you? Let me grab all your thingies. Hi, you buddy. This pistol is too good. Let me throw out my turret. Jeez, there's a lot of you. I don't know why there's so many of you. I'm just trying to do my mission. Well, I guess the, their, their, their job is to stop me, isn't it? Well, wow, turret, 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 turret. That, was, that died a lot faster than the other turrets do. Bad ass shock trooper. This would probably be really annoying. If I wasn't a little bit over leveled for this. Am I supposed to continue on up over this? Whoa! Hey, buddy! How you doing? Wait, where's my shotty gun? What am I doing here? Oh, wait. I saw the sniper equipped. I saw the sniper equipped. Where is my shotty gun? I think I sold my shotgun. I think I sold my shotgun. I sold things before the episode started because my bags were, like, full. But I think I sold that awesome shotgun I had. I mean, we still, we still got this one. But maybe if I find a vending machine, I can still buy it. Because I haven't signed out yet. Oh, goodness gracious. Come on, this shotgun is not doing work. Maybe, am I hitting his shield? Why is he still alive? Oh, I'm going to the head. Goodness gracious me. I should not have been as hard as what that was. Ooh, chesty chest. Now, here, one of them guys. How you doing? 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 And it's all whites in here. Well, the objective is right here, so I think we're good. Ooh, there would be a purple class mod in here. That looks like a pretty good one for a soldier if I were playing with people, but playing solo, I don't feel so it's going to be the greatest of class mods. Then we jump down. Where's my car? I don't have a car. Um, I can grab my car right here, actually. They have a bunch of these. Oh, wow. The quest is like freaking out on me. So the roadblock is down. You should now be able to reach Moxie. All right, you've got uh, you've got Moxie. Moxie's red light. Meet Moxie and find the informant. With the roadblock taken care of, your route is clear. It's time to head to Moxie's red light and find the mysterious informant who can help you deal with Atlas and the Crimson Lance. Awesome. Let's go. No. This is General Knox. I don't uh, really want to be here. 
This planet smells like hemorrhoids wrapped in bacon. I sent Steel to this planet to take care of this little problem, and also because, uh, seriously, have you heard her? She talks all the time. And hello, have you met our friend the Sun? So, I guess, thanks for turning her into a meat kebab. <laughs> also, I'm gonna kill you and stuff. Cheers, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. Well, I want to go ahead here. Uh, get a little bit closer to Moxie's, which is apparently all the way down here. Maybe if I were to speed boost, I can just drive all the way through. We don't really need to kill off too many of these things. And I'm wondering if this is going to turn out to be the same area as the Mr. Torque DLC in Borderlands 2, because that would be pretty cool. Secret final boss in 20 kilometers. <laughs> That's what the sign just said back there. Look at him running away from me and not just fighting me. There. Fort Knox, 20 kilometers. Bam! <laughs> Knocked him over. I like their car, actually. That thing's pretty sick looking. Wow, there's a lot of these. I'm just gonna skip past them and keep on driving. I don't really feel like fighting them. Hate camp, two kilometers. Alright, so this is gonna be deep fathoms? I don't know. Oh wait, is this where the underdome is? Like, Mox Red Light, two kilometers. I just a quick note about Moxie in the event you ain't met her. She got a peculiar streak in her. Loves the limelight, but she ain't as sketchy as she appears to be on stage. Uh, I almost forgot. She's my mom. So you treat her right, or I'll bury you where I'm buried lucky. Yeah, I killed him. Don't act all surprised. I told you I was gonna do it. <laughs> he actually killed Lucky? <laughs> That's hilarious. What in the world? Um. Huh. Am I actually? Oh, 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 oh boy, oh boy. Um, I think I'm supposed to drive off. Yellow. Well, that worked. This looks a lot like the Borderlands 2 Mr. Torque DLC, doesn't it? Well, it would appear I might be able to go around that way. I don't know. I have no idea where I'm actually supposed to go. There would be good lands, guys. Oh, Cheetah Paw is what that is called. I'm just gonna leave it. I don't really care. Maybe go through here. Oh yeah, so we're gonna take up this road here. All these guys are shooting at me, so I was like, no, I'm just going to go see Moxie. I don't wanna fight. I gotta say, this is DLC is pretty cool so far. Alright, Moxie's red light exit now. Which apparently is gonna use me up ahead. I'm not gonna use this shotgun, because that just doesn't seem to be working very well for me. Look at you coming down. Killer? Desperado? Oh wait, my FOB. There we go. That's much better. I like how he had his pull and everything to come down. He was, just, he was so excited for that one moment and he just died so quick. I heard something. I don't know what... Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep, yep. You guys are tough. Oh, no, no, don't worry. You guys are tough. Hera, so this is like the leader. They look a lot like Zero. Is Zero part work for Atlas, maybe? I mean, Zero doesn't wear the same kind of gear, but there's a lot of similarities between Zero and these guys, right? Oh my goodness, come back here. You move around a little bit too quick for my likings. That's a Siren class mod. A Siren class mod that gives you 85% more sniper rifle critical hit damage. So that's interesting. Snipers, I never, does the Siren use snipers? Ever? I don't know, but we got some cores to grab here, so let's grab some of these. Yeah, so these, these guys look a lot like Zero. Huh, that's interesting. Well, is this where Moxie's at? I think this is where Moxie's at. Um. Um. Oh. Mr. Shank, is that you? If it's you, I already told you your money is no good. Oh. Mr. Shank? Who's Mr. Shank? You won't need your money here. Tiger Grow. Wow. 
All right. Now we're going to be inside Moxie's. All right. Excuse the mess, but a good kidnapping is never clean. Shank busted in and took Miss Athena for a little ride. You should have seen the fight she put up. That kitty has claws. Mr. Shank is after the chunk of change that Atlas has put on Athena's pretty little face. If you want her, you'll need to do some fancy driving. Luckily, I'm just the person to help with that. Are you ready to rescue the princess? I think you can handle it. Head out to the prison. You're looking for an outcropping near the base of the plateau with a ramp nearby. My ex built it back when. I'll be in touch when you get closer.